Do you have sex and drag? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are drunk. Man! Yo, you had your time to speak. It's yeah. my turn now. If you oh. talk to me in that tone one more time. <laughs> Yes. This is gonna be a very serious video now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Big thumbs up. We're talking about drag. This is drunk queers? Drunk gays? Drunk. How should I label this? Drunk queens? Drunk gays? How do we identify? Should we say drunk gays? Drunk <laughs> no, I'm just gonna say it. Arise May and I have been drinking for a little bit. I've been drinking. Yeah. I've been drinking. I'm like about 17 years. <laughs> yes, we've been drinking for, for a while. We, uh, drag race experts and past RuPaul queens, are going to be explaining RuPaul's drag race, the phenomenon, to three of my best straight friends, not the Try Guys, who have never seen the show. Hey, how's it going? I'm Miles and I'm straight. And today I'm gonna be gay splained. RuPaul, am I allowed to say gay splained? And y'all know each other too, right? I don't know her. Wait, you have And not at all. Met. We've never met. I don't how, know this girl. How have y'all never met? We're always in each other's circles. We, and no, we're just kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, we know each say. other very yeah, well. I see this bitch every Tuesday when I go out. I never seen the show RuPaul Drag Race, but my wife is a religious fan of the show. Me being here right now, I think she's boiling in jealousy. How many times have you had to explain Drag Race <gasps> to someone who's never seen it? I honestly, I'm a bitch, so I don't explain anything to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be I owe no you. one an explanation. I don't. This I'm like, I'm too for good you. for this. <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah. been a while since you've experienced a first, huh? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Yes, I know of the show RuPaul's Drag Race because I am a human who is alive. I don't even know where you watch it. <laughs> where is it? It's not on Netflix, I can tell you that much. If it was on Netflix, I would have watched it. This is a company where I work mainly with three straight white men. <laughs> so it's good to have this energy. We need to be here to <gasps> tell the children. What's this? Well, why'd you come back with, oh, thank you. Yeah. Such a pretty This bottom. is Desiree. What kind is that? This is an old fashioned. This is the old fashioned, you know old fashioned. Just they that. just have pre-made old fashioned. <laughs> Girl, I we live. Gotta dab. We gotta get a dab. <laughs> oh, that's good. Category <laughs> is? Multiple categories that we're gonna discuss okay. because we need a little bit of, uh, you know, guardrails. All right. So that we don't just go off the rails. One, the rules of RuPaul. This is basically the show format. Okay. okay. Two, the history. So the history of the show. Okay. Three, the queens. Just discussing notable queens, famous queens, Mayhem Miller. <gasps> oh, not me. Four, the challenges. So different types of challenges you have and the iconic challenges you'll see each season. Okay. Now that we are sufficiently toasty, oh. we're gonna bring in these heterosexuals oh. and explain the ins and outs and ins and outs of Drag Race. No rhythm. I haven't Anything. seen a heterosexual in a month. I've had no complaints. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Once in Australia, a friend of the show, Alex Herring and I, were out at a karaoke bar, and we were like, let's go sing Shallow from the hit film Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. <laughs> we went up on stage, had the mics, we're about to sing, and all of a sudden, out of the crowd, erupted a drag queen that made her way onto the stage, took the mic from Alex, and Alex <laughs> moved to the side, and me and this lovely drag queen sang Shallow, and we burned down the house. So that was sort of a magical experience with the drag queen, and I'm excited to learn more about the world of RuPaul. So if Hi. you haven't met yet, this is Aris and Mayhem, Hi. my besties. And these are my best straight friends. <laughs> yeah! And I'm excited to be here, Boots. Yeah, he's <laughs> excited to be your boo. <laughs> <laughs> the house down. Let me the house, house down. The house okay. I feel like any drag experience I've had is usually with you. Yeah. But <laughs> you sort of uh, my experience. You being in drag. Now, how tall are you? Six foot five. Neat. <laughs> well, I'm very attracted to that. Thank you, by the way. Do you need him to stand up or? Yeah, stand up. Yeah, please. Stand up. That's a very tall man. Do a little turn. Man. Oh, a a little turn. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, you're definitely straight. 
<laughs> Word. I wish I added more flourish to my turn at this point. You guys are drunk. Oh, uh, we're, we're gonna on gypsy it. now. I can't believe we're working my, on it. My dog pooped on the and carpet. It's not my fault. They made me do it. Well, what are y'all? No. I've had five sips of. This is my first drink. Wine. Only one. What is that, Miles? Yeah. It's a, we're not drunk. <laughs> I don't want to say what it is. Know. It's something heterosexual. It's something heterosexual. It is heterosexual as hell. I'm drinking an IPA. IPA. I'm drinking an IPA. IPA. Doubt it. Yeah, crazy. Hey! Now the heterosexuality. Doubt it. Doubt it. Doubt it. First, Miles. Yeah. What do you think the format is based on what you've seen in social media? Okay, so Tyra Banks comes out. And <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a competition reality show. Yeah. And they're freaking head to head, two drag queens fighting for their lives, and someone says something really mean, uh -huh. and then they figure it out together. That is. Plus, 99% right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. We should say RuPaul's Drag Race is like an Emmy Award winning competition reality show mm -hmm. that takes drag culture, queer culture, and puts it under the microscope in a way that feels like it's through the lens of competition reality television. It's our Super it's Bowl. It's the Super Bowl of, of like drag. I think that Drag Race in its inception, although totally unique, was making fun of and also in, in, in exhibiting um, elements of Project Runway, America's Next Top Model, Survivor. It was a lot of like pointing at reality television while becoming something totally unique. There's a mini challenge and a maxi challenge most every episode. Mini and a main. And there's no elimination in the mini challenge, a la no, Top Chef. No, no, a la Top a Chef, la top exactly. Chef. Yeah. And then the maxi challenge, they get judged by a panel of experts. And then afterwards, they do a runway at the end of the episode. You have two bottom queens and one winner. And the bottom queens will lip sync for their life. What? Holy shit. That's so they go that. head to head. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I knew that lip syncing. I, I knew that that, that went on, but I didn't know that was why. An episode. Mayhem, give some background on what lip syncing is in, in gay culture. Traditionally, mm -hmm. drag will feature the art form of lip sync. Yes. You know, you get on stage and you lip sync to someone else's song. But there's also artists that go out there and sing their own original material or someone else's material. Which is a horrible idea. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see Everyone who sings their own <laughs> shit is always a bomb. <laughs> Shut up. I feel like that's a dangerous move to try to sing. It's very dangerous. I I I, I learned that. Look at her. See you do it. See me live on TV. Never had your own ah! single, have you? Uh, <laughs> what did you say? Listen. Did you say? It's a very it's a very What did you say? It's, it's a very easy way to have a self promotional <laughs> ask. Was it your original song? What was your original song? <laughs> oh, what? I forgot the words of my own song. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking shit, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> you were talking about, so about my performance. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So there is a lexicon. You will guess what the meaning is of the word we shall. <laughs> Ma'am, we'll give the first word. I know some shit. So in the house, usually all the new lingo is mostly from drag culture. She uses uh, boots. Oh, that's something boots. That's crazy boots. Oh, read. Yeah, read. Oh, the library is open because you just got read. First word is squirrel friend. Use it in a sentence. Yeah, please. <laughs> no, wait, wait, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Is this right. a national wait, wait, spelling bee? Yeah, I got it. Wait, what? Yeah. Tell, them, tell them the sentence. Ready? Hey, squirrel friend. Oh, shit. Is it like girlfriend, but a little bit gay? I think it's your friend that has like a little bushy tail. Got something. it. Yeah. Someone who's fast mm -hmm. in the sack. In the sack. As in well sack. as in nature. What do squirrels eat? Nuts. Somebody who gobbles. Oh shit. They love nuts. <laughs> oh, they shit. love nuts. Somebody who loves nuts. A whole bunch of Somebody nuts in the mouth. It's wow. so it's referring to someone it's that's, it's that's gay. Because you like girlfriend. you like oh, nuts as well. Oh shit, so. that's what's up. Oh, okay. 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 okay, all right. Fine. To clarify, yeah. I shouldn't be using game. squirrel friend, right? No, you could. I, I could. If you had a lot of I would laugh at you. Publicly. 
the evolution of Drag Race from a little show Ooh. on Logo TV. Filmed in a basement. Filmed in a basement <laughs> to part of what I consider like the young kids, like they are exposed to it and mm. they think of it as the number one reality program. That has happened just over a decade, which is insane. You can go back from like Paris is Burning where it's like, oh, we, we do this like, at a, like on a club on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. on an off night, and then to like, now it's national television. Quazy is speaking like, truths about history. For real though. Yes. Yeah, like that shit Thank is you, real as mm -hmm. You have vaudeville, you have, everyone knows, Shakespearean lore, which is that men played the parts of women because of sexism and misogyny, but also men did that and also were like fueling their oats. They were like, some were wow. Yeah, of course. The yeah. full fantasy Actually, was felt. I believe drag came from the terminology that the male actors were dragging their skirts behind them, so they're like, this is drag. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. That's really funny. Because women were not allowed on the stage. Right. Yeah. So it's both misogyny that. and also yeah. men being like, Hello. Hello. This feels amazing. I'm wearing a dress. Yes. I have a question. So I obviously am a married straight, but I was a theater major, and one of my favorite musicals was- Wait, wait, was... I was a theater major. There you go. One of my favorite musicals was Cabaret, and yes. a lot of Cabaret is about, for lack of a better term, drag in Berlin like back then. Is yes. that like the origins of drag? No, or... because I want to tell you now, and I want to tell everyone in the audience, drag or versions of queerness have been here since B C E baby, <laughs> Egyptian, Greek right. people were yeah, right. basically cross-dressing. Oh yeah, since the dawn of time, because someone was bored in that little <laughs> village, and they were like, "I'm not gonna milk this goat and crop this grain without putting on a dress or a mustache and saying, hey, mom, <laughs> look at me. Look at me. <laughs> when I first started doing drag 20 years ago, there were like maybe three drag shows in the city. Now it's, you can go to straight clubs, restaurants for brunches that like it's available everywhere now, and which is you great. Yeah. But a baby drag queen, did you think you would see that kind of like epic trajectory Never. in your lifetime? Really? Never. No. Even within the queer culture, no one wanted to do drag because we were outcasts. Right. Drag queens were the ones that you were just like, mm -mm, no bitch, you stay over there and I'm good, you're weird, like la la la. Within the community or outside? Both. Both. And how did, how did you find your first drag experience? I came from a theater background. Right, yeah. And so when I went to my first drag show at a club, I was like, oh, this is like theater, but gay as <laughs> In that show, I saw amazing entertainers. I saw my first trans person on stage, and I saw like my first immensely beautiful, talented people on stage doing things that we all just watch celebrities do on television. Mm -hmm. and it, right. But right here in front of you and it was accessible and to see the creativity of someone creating illusion and bringing that energy into a room it was just magical and I was like I want that something that's good to remember especially with the discourse especially with queer rights is that when you line up the very diverse queer community even here on this panel is like you have to point out who is the first to be attacked and that is trans people that is drag queens and often they were at the front lines with queer rights issues yeah. people like to really try to drag drag race for certain reasons which sometimes it is valid based on particular <laughs> perspectives many times but it is also <laughs> it is also a tv show that is like trying to figure out how to be entertaining while also representative and reaching people who otherwise would have no access yeah but in the end now we have season 14 of drag race yeah. the contestants watch drag race as children and then ah, embrace drag shit. so we are in I'm that phase now <laughs> and wait i have qualms with it going mainstream so i love that all my friends are getting like money in their pockets and that everyone loves drag and everything. What I don't like is that every poorly dressed person I've ever met is now a fashion critic. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Get the f out of here. Say more. For real. Say more. Like, Say I don't more. know about that dress. I'm like, I don't know about anything you've got going on. <laughs> I'm like, baby. Shut the f Ah, the double-edged like, sword. Are yeah, like, who are you? Yeah. Shut up. You're entitled to your opinion, but you don't have to share that with me because, bitch, anyone could look at a Mona Lisa and say, it's not that good. Oh. Bitch, it's good. Shut the <laughs> up. Bam. Listen, TikTok 
I'm sorry, it's drag. Okay, I, no, let me shut up. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. It's all lip sync. Say that I'm say sorry. It. When TikTok first came here into the world, mm -hmm. they approached drag queens to ask us to participate in it, to promote the app. And a lot of us did like jump in on it. Me, I was like, hell no. You ain't gonna make no money off of what I do as an art. And then now I was like, shit, I should have did it. <laughs> Dances are stolen from blacks and the lexicon stolen from gays. Big like time. everything the whole, in the America. Whole vocab. I'm so drunk, I just said blacks. I'm like, by the way, I'm black. White people, you cannot use the word black. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Because like, I can, you cannot. Next, next word is. Next word, Kai Kai. Now I know that Kiki, like making Kiki. No. Making Kiki. Kiki. Making Kiki. <laughs> is this a pie? Kai. Oh, making Kiki. When you make the Kai. Kai. Wait, wait. What do you think a Kiki is? I don't want to have it. It's a party. You can't okay, okay. Okay, you knew. A Kai Kai. Kai Kai. Kai Kai. Kai Kai, Kai, Kai is. Using the sentence? Oh. Um, Let's have a Kai Kai. Let's have a Kai Kai. I want to have a Kai Kai. It's Lock the door. Definitely an orgy. Oh. Hooking up? What kind of hooking up? Kai Kai. Making a Kai Kai. Making a Kai Kai? You don't really make a Kai Kai. You do a Kai Kai. You do a Kai Kai. You have yeah. Kai Kai? Is it hooking have up? Have I Kai Kai? No, no, no. Oh, I know you probably no. have Kai Kai. Oh my god! Oh my god. Uh, Rachel, what is the definition of Kai Kai? Like, is this a safe space? I don't think it is. Oh, it's always. Yeah, yeah. It's always um, safe here. Is it hooking up with someone? But you're not totally proud of it? No, yeah. well, okay. well, actually, you shouldn't that's be That's a proud Thursday of it. night. Kai Kai is <laughs> drag on drag love. Oh. Why drag should queens you having sex. That? Sister no. Dick will make you sick. No. I wasn't going to say it. Sister Dick will make you sick. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. Sister Dick will make you sick. Sister Dick will make you sick. But that's what's up. Can you name one drag queen that came from a drag race besides Mayhem Miller? Uh, PewDiePie? That's a YouTuber. Who? PewDiePie Pewdiepie? Uh, <laughs> did you just say PewDiePie? <laughs> Something <laughs> like Alyssa was Alyssa in the what? mommies. Alyssa what? Alyssa what? I don't know. Has scissor hands? I don't know. I wish I could. I... Alyssa Edwards. Edwards scissor hands. Oh, I was Alyssa trying to give it to you. Alyssa Edwards. Oh, Six years ago or so, I produced a finale for the VMAs with Miley Cyrus, and she featured about 40 drag queens. And when I was posting those photos on my Instagram and stuff, people were losing their minds because I was hanging out with people whose names I don't know, but apparently they were a big deal. At the beginning of the, of the show, everyone's goal is not to go home first. Because the first one out usually is the kiss of death because no one will book you once you leave. Yeah. That is fully f***ed up because you can <laughs> compete against like 10,000 people to get there. Yeah, right. Exactly. No, but the average person does not know anything about casting processes or how hard it is to get on TV. People message me all the time, when are you gonna get back on TV? I'm like, do you think I'm casting myself? Having been in a lot of casting rooms, it's about filling types, not yeah. necessarily, like once uh, your type is cast, yeah, so we need a different storyline. Yes, yeah. exactly. If you come to Southern California, May is the queen, a staple. And yes, she was eliminated like two episodes in, in her season. Uh, don't f***ing do Three. me like that. <laughs> Three. I went home five. I was like, it was five. deep. It was deep. Five? It was no. deep. Yeah. And I'm gonna give some tea right now because <laughs> she was like, hey, I know you were in the industry. And I'm like, and she goes, hey, like, what do you think I should do? And I said, you have to yes. be the most exaggerated version of yourself yes. for a reality show and may Bless her heart, like was like, that. I'm a virgin that has never seen a penis, and I'm never going to ever oh God, understand I what- that. I feared that I would do something stupid on television, yeah. and then in, it will reflect in my real life, yeah. and I would have to carry that for the rest of my days. That's and a like very legit fear. And you also have to keep, you have to stay that person. Yeah. Yes. People working. will hold you to that. Yeah, if you're people. yourself, you could be yourself all day. Do nah, people? Rockstar. Just skyrocket after they win. You don't okay. have to win. Okay. You have to be a most, good personality. Most mm. of the people that are extremely successful are the ones that don't win. My favorite of all time would have to be Alaska. 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 And I was just in her video, by the I way. I was just with her last night. So then we got to do Willem. I love Willem so much. Mm -hmm. And so my last one would be Chi Chi Devane. Late great Chi Chi Devane. Late great. As I say her Devaneisms. Every day. You all gotta get ready, you stay ready. You stay yeah. ready. Like, I'm teaching you the vein, bitch. There's some funny. from Drag no, Race. Yeah. Really funny. Do you guys gravitate towards 
comedy queens? Mm -hmm. Are you more, okay, okay. Comedy, all day. Okay. Make me laugh. For LGBT people back in the day, like going oh, out funny. to the bars was one, dangerous. Yes. For two, while you're there, you want to escape from the world that you always have to deal with you need and you're joy. hiding from. If you can make me laugh, bitch, you got my heart. The stereotype and the truth around queer people having intuitive sense of comedy is because we joke about things to get away from our own personal trauma. And we're also the best at studying people because we were unsafe in so many situations that mm -hmm. I know who everyone is in this oh, room. Oh, honey. Right? Mm -hmm. I, 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 yeah. observe I have watched every one of your f***ing movements. Yeah, I know, and yeah. I know who <laughs> every one of you are because I need to know if I'm safe. Word. I can't say this for every queer person, but the idea that drag race has become like a sporting event, we've been excluded from sporting events. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quite literally with trans people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you have something that is akin to that and we can give our full selves cheering for something, that is like such a freeing moment. And then we finally have something to relate to. Mm -hmm. It's your own. Uh, what I love about it too, because you said it's our own, it's something straight people can never take from us. <laughs> Bust up you yourself. You can never take it up. This Bust is just yourself. for queer people. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Yo, it, it's so close to this like black culture. Yeah. In general. Yeah. Like being exiled out of like the what American shit is. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, yo, oh yeah, no colored people allowed, right? Or no trans people allowed. Now look like, it, we'll make our own and make it better. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm it, saying? It's yours. Yeah. Like, it is so interesting and this is what i'm saying to the audience now which we all love drag race but it, it, in the same sense like watching it become something so niche for us to mainstream within 10 years mm -hmm. like that was a fast forward button none of us predicted never but now the lexicon is so ingratiated in youth culture that you have like five-year-old girls being like yes queen can boots house down which weird. is <laughs> it, it is a little weird, <laughs> weird. And I'm, it, it's funny when I hear those terms because I'm like, I don't know a, a drag queen that even uses these terms. Like, but honey, those but, are from but two the years kids ago. Say it. I'm like, okay. The children. And I want to say this like with Teach love. The children. Yeah. With love. If I said that as a child, mm -hmm. I get slapped. Yeah. yeah. I would get hit in the face. Yeah. And no one would say anything about it. Like, Mayhem, you could have lost your life for this shit. There's been countless times that I have been in situations where it's been dangerous. Yeah. No one understands, like, back in the day, like, if I left a bar and had to get gas, mm -hmm. bitch, <laughs> that's <laughs> the one. <laughs> I've been yelled at, approached, fought, yeah. <laughs> physically mm -hmm. been in situations that were not safe because people were like, what the f are you doing? What, you know? It was a risk every time you left the house Always. as your persona. Always. And so people don't understand that they, like their boots the house down, they're excited, they're talking in the lexicon. I'm like, you don't know where this stemmed from at all. Yeah. And, yeah. No, and I'm really grateful that you don't. Yeah, I think in the end, we agree that we all deeply appreciate and love the younger generation mm -hmm. for being more open-minded about drag yeah. and celebrating queer culture. Mm -hmm. We just hope that they're as equally interested in LGBTQ plus history mm -hmm. and learning more about the struggles that got us here. Yes. This is gonna be a very serious video now. <laughs> oh, Big thumbs up. We're talking about drag. We said, yeah. let's turn this around. Yeah. <laughs> bring him in with the comedy. Bitch, yeah. bring him out yeah. with I an Emmy. <laughs> The conversation I'm super interested in is where your identity as a trans person intersects with feminism and the ways in which that's helpful and the ways in which it's harmful. Woo! Uh, this is deep. Okay, so feminism is for everyone. It's for males, it's mm -hmm. for females, it's mm -hmm. for trans people. If you're not a feminist, you're not a humanist. You right. need to believe in human beings That's right. to really believe in feminism. And so feminine and masculine, they don't actually mean anything. Yeah. Yeah. If a guy likes flowers or smelling like flowers, oh my God. he's gay. I'm like, that's a natural scent. <laughs> that is, you could roll in the flowers outside in the field. We all start as women in the womb, by the way. Amen. If you didn't know that. Right. Why so, come though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any guy who's secure in his masculinity is never going to insult femininity. That's so, right. Correct. So That's you, right. There's a reason it's the divine feminine and not the divine masculine. It's because one is divine and you are extra. What do you, what do, you do for that clap and shit? That's yeah. some, that's some clap and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guess this? Next. This. Okay. She done already had hers. 
She already had hers. Sorry, I'm gonna she need that. She done dip. already had had hers. <laughs> she done already had 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 hers. hers. <laughs> with the fingers, with the fingers. It is sort of yeah. had had hers. So that's like a, that's like a, so. The, what does it mean? She already had hers. Like maybe she's like, <laughs> had hers. she's already done her performance. She's freaking done for the Yeah, day. she's freaking done. I had, mean. Had hers. I don't hate her. Because some bitches done had hers. No, <laughs> you had your time to speak. Yeah. My turn now. <laughs> she already had hers. Oh. You oh, <laughs> <laughs> if you oh. talk to me in that tone one more time, <laughs> then I'm going to need, need the Coast Guard because it is wet. <laughs> Be okay. merry. Yeah. And it's the message um, bugle that you heard before RuPaul told you about the main challenge. Yeah. What's it? Tell me what it means, though. It means she done already had hers. It's true. Okay, so drag race. Test everything that you would test upon a NYU Tisch student who's also trying <laughs> to be gorgeous, beautiful, a disaster. A I auditioned for That's Tisch and did not get in. I also did not get into Tisch. So, so the yeah. challenge is the maxi challenge. That's where they have something that tests something that usually is a proponent of drag, which is comedy, fashion, mm. acting, acting, or performance, perform yeah. some sort of performance. Okay. Sometimes yeah. it's like write your own verse for a RuPaul's drag song remix, or oh. it's create oh. your own look couture from a bin from a 99 cent store. Oh, oh. shit, so it's which I won. Hey. You did! All of the challenges are things that RuPaul has done in her lifetime. Yes. Yeah. She is the creator of this in every sense. She's not the puppet of it. No, yes, she's but not she the was puppet. also she was also the original influencer in some ways. Why is she Most. the one? Because she was just better than everyone else? She was the prettiest at the time. And she had she the <laughs> still, still <laughs> one of so the shady. prettiest. But I remember my first exposure to RuPaul and it was like seeing a God. I was watching MTV in Spring Break, and she came out in a white bathing suit, pigtails, <sighs> blonde wig, seven feet tall, in heels. I was a little kid, and I was watching, and I'm like, that's not a woman. Huh. <laughs> I didn't but know. Not a but man. that's very I didn't know. But this is what I want to be. <laughs> Everyone's definition of drag was always a clown. Yeah. When you saw RuPaul, it made you question, and it became dangerous because this is a woman. Yeah. yeah. She was so statuesque and so commanding on stage. My experience with RuPaul was totally different. What was it? It was, don't be like that. Who yeah. taught you to be like that? Who it was like said everyone that? In, in within like my community. Oh, even in my family, it was like, they were, they wouldn't want me to watch that. Yeah, like, it, was it was like, like, it was no, like no, 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 don't look like, at that. You don't, don't look, look at that. that. Yeah, yeah, don't look at that. Because no one has seen it. Exactly. No one has seen it on that level. It was yeah. always in the dark. Or oh, oh, with that clothes. confidence. Mm -hmm. as, as I grew older, it's like, y'all can do what I want. I'm not afraid of this. I want, I know what I am. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't turn another way. You are who Absolutely. You are. Really quick, my mom's favorite show in the 90s was the RuPaul show. And so I learned that that was fine. I just didn't understand a platinum blonde black person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I was like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> bitch. This is my one criticism that I think they can do better on. They don't showcase what MCs are. Because some, <laughs> no, a lot of drag queens are amazing, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Ma'am. No, what I say, no, but what I say, no. Underline that, no. Oh, oh bitch. my God. Bitch. Bitch. Don't dip your Cheetos in f***ing vodka. I mean, mom. It's an art skill to be able to control the energy skill. of a f***ing room. Yeah. And then if something happens in the room, you have to be able to f***ing move with that. And can like, I just say, that's a skill of being a woman in the world as well, because rooms aren't safe. That's and right. you have to adapt that's your energy right. to that room, or else you're not going to be taken care of. Do women feel not safe in most rooms? Yes! yes. Yeah. Absolutely! Damn. That's hard! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a reason why there is a large community of straight women who flock to gay bars yes. because they don't feel threatened. That's hardcore, man. They could come and dance and have a good time and yeah. that's it. Yes, <laughs> with their friends. Do you resent baby drag queens, trans people, gays, who don't have to fight as hard as you had to fight, are you so proud to have paved the way? You go first. Oh <laughs> That's a 
I don't resent them as people. I'm really glad that it's gone that way. I resent how they treat their elders. Because how dare you speak to me, the bitch who dug the trench you're walking right past about how I represent myself, how I, what I call myself. I get very frustrated with that when they try to make you the bad guy when I'm like, I helped you. A lot of people forget where the root of Drag Race is and Rue says it every episode. She always says, everyone say love. Love. Mm. Everyone say love. And if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? And that's something that is universal that we all can understand. I tell everyone every show, you are beautiful. Don't you let nobody tell you different. We all have beauty. We all are capable to love. That show has opened up so many doors for everyone to understand. Love is love. Word. And as serious as we can get about drag, let's not forget that it's also meant to be super f***ing fun and a celebration mm -hmm. of these queens' unique self-expression. Yeah. So sometimes it's just best to sit back, appreciate their talent, and enjoy the show. I mean, in the end, the comfort that is a black drag queen, a black trans woman, yeah. an Asian gay man yeah. here with y'all. Being able to talk about this, this is what like the future holds. What? You know what I mean? I hate that this yeah. is getting emotional. I'm getting like really emotional about this actually. Take but a it shot. is being queer is emotional. No, <laughs> it's a <sucks>. constant. <laughs> All right, so the final question is, yeah. Miles, yeah. Rachel, Quasi, what's up? Will you watch RuPaul's Drag Race? I absolutely will. I can't believe I haven't watched it before now. RuPaul's Drag Race comes off the back of like a lot of culture that like came from like pain. But on top of that, like of like celebration of like your being your authentic self. If you hate someone for being their authentic self, then it means you hate yourself. <gasps> I will watch the show. Amazing. Yeah. Wow, this became a very that big one. Oh, meditative shit. episode. Oh. Next word, gag. Yeah. Got it. So my wife uses this all the time. Yeah. Oh, oh, what is, wait. Oh. What does she use it, Chris? Oh. This is a family show. <laughs>